First we're going to make some stained glass type um, decorations for our window. I'm going to be using some old sweet wrappers from last Christmas that I saved over but you can use coloured acetate um, as well if you don't have any of that. So you can see I've got lots of different um, colours and choices to go through. It's great to be able to use recycled materials when you're doing projects like this so if you have anything in the home that's semi-transparent um, that you can recycle and use for this project then that's brilliant. So I'm picking out a colour scheme of greens and reds and separating them out because I'm going to be using them to design um, some holly for my window. I'm also going to make use of some of the metallic wrappers in the tin to use for my berries as I think they'll make a nice sort of metallic-y shiny effect on the window display. So you might like to think about using a combination of both of the transparent ones and also the metallic ones. Next I'm going to get some trusty sticky back paper which I have a roll of always in the house and a couple of stones to act as weights but you could use anything and some scissors. The idea is that I'm going to cut this up and um, peel it back so that I've got this nice sticky surface to work with. After I've got that laid out flat, I'm going to um, place my chosen sweet wrappers and flatten them out and stick them onto the sticky surface. And I'll keep on going with that tiling effect until I've got enough of a surface that I feel that I can work from. Next I'm going to take my chalk marker but you could use a sharpie or any kind of pen that will just make a mark on the surface and I'm going to start drawing on my design trying to make use of as much of the surface as possible. Remember it doesn't have to be super neat because you're going to be cutting it out so if especially if you're using a chalk marker you can actually rub that outline away afterwards so once you've done all of that drawing you can start cutting out your pieces and collect making a little collection of leaves or whichever design you've got if you've got any sort of sizable sized offcuts from that it's worth keeping them to one side because you might be able to use them in other parts of your design so the next bit we're going to do is looking at the berries. Um, I've taken the metallic pieces and I'm just scrunching them up, making sure that the coloured side is on, on the outside and all around, making a nice little ball. I decided that it'd be quite fun if I also looked at something like the lint balls, which had a tiny bit of pattern. So I'm just cutting off the excess that I don't need um, before rolling that one up too. And now I've got both elements ready for the holly part of my window display. Next up, I'm going to be using the same materials, but just thinking about them in a slightly different way. So I'm going to use the sticky back plastic to my advantage and actually keep space around it and use it to adhere the design to the window when I put it on there. So you can see I've taken some abstract shapes of the wrappers and placed them uh, where they've got enough space around them so that the sticky back plastic can be used to stick it to the window. And um, I've just used a, a, a colour combination that I thought was quite interesting. And then I've taken my chalk marker and created circle outlines ready to cut it. Another great design idea for the window could be to use collage. So I'm looking through my magazines and finding some white based interesting pages with maybe a little bit of texture on them as well, ripping them out and putting them to one side. And then I'm gonna get a big piece of paper, which I've already measured up against my window. So I know it's gonna fit in the space that I want it to. And then I'm cutting it into a curved sort of shape because I'm going to be creating a, a snowscape um, scene with it. So you can see there's a nice curve running along the top there. Next I'm going to get my pages that I took from the magazine and a selection of old jar lids of different sizes and I'm going to use them as a template to pencil round the pages over some interesting white areas and then I'm going to start cutting them out so I've got a selection of different size discs 
and they've got a selection of different patterns but they all look within the same colour range as um, as white so actually they'll all end up looking slightly different and it's amazing how many different colours will come out of um, what you initially think of as being very similar. Once you've built up enough of a selection then you can just lay them out and see what you've got. For my design I decided to stick them onto this piece of back backing white paper to add a little bit more of an interesting pattern and texture to go up on the window design. Next I'm going to turn my attention to the focal point of my window display which is going to be a jolly snowman because I'm thinking about the song lyric Let It Snow and being inspired by that. I've been really careful about choosing what piece of paper to use to make the snowman because when you're doing a window display you have to be really careful about both sides of the paper because when you put it up on the window you're going to be able to see the other side coming through so my recommendation would be to use a piece of paper that's predominantly covered in writing um, and then on the other side it's pretty similar and co covered in writing and likewise if you're using an image or a colour try and make sure it's the same on both sides. Um, as you can see I'm using a bowl as a template to cut out the head for the snowman and I've made the body just by freehand drawing and then I'm going to look at them together and start thinking about piecing um, the pieces together so that they make this jolly snowman. I've got some stickers which are always helpful when it comes to designing things so I'm making my smile for the snowman out of those to replicate the idea of pieces of coal and then I'm going to use a felt tip pen to add the eye detail. So it's a combination of collage and a little bit of drawing a little bit of sticking. Next up I'm going to go back to the collage and the magazines and find a nice piece of orange with a little bit of texture to create a nose and using my scissors to kind of shape it and make it the right size to fit with the rest of the design and once I'm happy with that I'm just gluing that down. And then we've got Mr. Snowman's face ready. Adding a little bit more detail and something like a black marker can be really handy to just add those little touches. I've also decided to add the lyrics let it snow to my window display so I've quickly made up um, the word snow using exactly the same method as I did for my snowman out of the same collage. So now I've got all of my elements ready. I've got my sweet wrapper pieces and my collage pieces. Hi everyone, uh, I just thought I'd show you my kitchen window. This is the one that I've decided to decorate behind me. There it is. Uh, so just wish me luck. Now that I've got all the pieces that I pre-made up on the window and I'm happy with their positioning, I'm going to start adding a little bit of chalk marker. Chalk markers are liquid chalk in a pen, so they're really, really handy when it comes to working on windows because they work really smoothly on glass and the nibs of the pen make it feel like you're just drawing on paper. So you can add lots of fine bits of detail really easily and quickly, but because they have this um, opaque finish, it has a really nice effect on the window. So you can see I added my snow 
using the white chalk marker and it just kind of gives that really nice poppy effect to the to the design so here we are this is the window finished so you can see the collage at the bottom then we've got our mr snowman a combination of the chalk marker and collage for the the writing and then our garland of baubles at the top made using the sweetie wrappers and the holly in the corners of each of the two parts of the window. So hopefully that will give you a few ideas that you can apply to your own designs and here's the window at night time just so you can see how it looks against a dark background as well. Have fun making yours! Bye!